smoking logs show where hundreds of the dead were fed to the flames to stave off the plague that usually follows when the water and sewer systems are destroyed. And Governor General Sir John Burton, with Bob Ott, American Vice Consul, is still dazed by the horrible fate that destroyed the pretty town of Belize. No one will ever know how many poor natives lost their lives in the hurricane and tidal wave that brought ruin along with them, lifting boats from the harbor and flinging them far inland. Ruin everywhere, not a house left standing. But almost before the tragedy ends, the work of rescue starts, food administered by the Mexican consul to the ragged, half-starved children who lost families and relatives in the disaster. And these heroes have no time to help. A hurricane? After all, what's a hurricane? There's a chance to ship a few cases of liquor. The Place de la Concorde becomes a speedway, for it's the annual scooter championship handicap, and the winner will get a rubber bouncing ball. It's a very serious affair with the riders, and all kinds of records are about to fall, including a few jaywalkers, maybe. No other athletic event in Paris means as much as this one, and the boys train for it just like six-day bike riders. If you don't believe it, Pierre, the winner, will tell you. Tell him, Pierre. Je suis très content d'être arrivé premier et d'avoir gagné le maillot rouge. J'espère être encore champion du monde l'année prochaine. Bravo! miles north of New York City, a huge Chicago-bound American airliner lost in the fog crashed into the Mongop Mount. Troopers and civilians searched the countryside hour after hour before the wreck was located from the air. For three days, the fate of the liner and its occupants was unknown. So far off the beaten track had it smashed. The nine-ton plane cut an 80-foot swathe through the trees for 50 yards before it hit the ground and exploded. Two of the passengers and Miss Ada Huckby, the stewardess, were thrown clear but were killed nevertheless. Clyde Holbrook, pilot of the was bound from Spokane to Seattle. Rain and fog forced the pilot below the danger level and the crash into the mountain resulted. Miss Marion Bennett, stewardess of the plane, proved a heroine in helping the injured from the wreck and in cheering them up. Two black eyes are her only souvenirs of that spectacular... It wore. That's what it is, war. The culmination of a terrible feud between the freshmen and sophomores of the Brooklyn Polytechnic Institute. 200 young crusaders battling fiercely for an ideal. The glorious ideal of, er, uh, the glorious, uh, oh well, I forget what it is just now. Anyhow, there they are, a sickening confusion of carnage and destruction. Youthful heroes who left home only this morning with never a thought in their minds that tonight they'd be without pants and shirts, too. It's victory. Well, can't tell by the way they're dressed, 
but it's the sophomores. The torn battlefield tells its own mute story, the same battlefield where Brooklyn nearly won the pennant last summer. What price glory? Today, Soviet Russia's greatest industrial triumph is registered. And Chairman Kalinin of the National Central Committee comes to open the huge Dnieperstroy hydroelectric works on the Dnieper River. Biggest in the world, it took 10,000 men and women laborers four years to construct. Anyhow, let's listen to the big doings. <laughs> Nearly a million horsepower turned loose. It's the biggest unit in the five-year plan so far and was built under the direction of Colonel Hugh Cooper of Muscle Shoals fame. It'll supply light, heat, and energy for factories, mines, It's the annual canoe race of these Indian girls for the honor of getting the blessing of Our Lady of Guadalupe, their patron saint, for it's their belief that the winner of the race will be the happiest bride of the year. It's a real contest, and the girls handle their dugouts, they call them chalupas, with as much skill as men. Even in a traffic jam, crowds bet on their favorites and urge them on with as much enthusiasm as we do our college crews. It's no easy matter to race these chalupas, and sometimes they give trouble. Oh, what did I tell you? The girls are all fine swimmers, and besides, there's rescue always near at hand. So the race goes on. While the battle rages, there's tremendous rivalry. But when it's over, the losers all join in honoring the lucky one. From now on, she'll be just looking around for... There isn't a doubt about the reverence that Germany has for her beloved president, Paul von Hindenburg, grand old man of the Reich, who's just celebrated his 85th birthday. Today he's being honored by his old war regiments, the many commanded at the famous Battle of Tannenberg and the Masurian Lakes, when Germany practically wiped out the Russian armies, taking 110,000 prisoners. No wonder the great warrior's proud. No matter what else happened, that victory alone one of the greatest in Germany's whole history, will bring immortality to the field marshal of the Vaterland. And so he stands in salute, surrounded by his aides, but alone with his thoughts. Thoughts that live in the past, on the birthday of a great victory. <laughs> The Colima Public Hospital was one of the first buildings to feel the terrible shock at a quarter after four this morning that lasted 15 minutes and threw the people of the helpless city into a panic of terror. The famous Church of San Jose, hundreds of years old, suffered severe damage in the disaster that affected every public building and home in Colima. Almost before it stopped, the militia was on the job, trying to shore up walls and searching for the 34 unhappy victims who lost their lives. No churches was left standing, and the religious natives have to attend mass in the open air, praying. <laughs> Catherine Rawls, 17-year-old diving and swimming sensation, has four titles and doesn't want to lose them. That's why the Florida mermaid's training hard every day. And she's got her little sister, Peggy, to help her. Peg is only three, but she sure knows her dives and loves them. Watch her now. 
And what she doesn't know, Catherine will show her. Uh, just as soon as she gets her all dried off. Now watch, a perfect backdrop. And now, a half twist. Now for a forward one and a half somersault. Whoop, she's in reverse. 